What's good, YouTube? I hope everybody's having a great day today. As you guys can tell by the title of today's video, I have finally found my jump shot, okay? I've been going through jump shots for the past few days. I've been trying out all different bases, set shot 25, base 3, all of that. And this has been the best jump shot that I have used so far. It's very smooth. I've been using it for a few days, and honestly, I really like it. I've been playing the ones court on it, twos, all of that. It's very smooth. It's easy to time, but I won't lie, it's a little bit ugly. However, this isn't real life, so no one cares if you have an ugly jump shot as long as it's easy to green who cares i know i don't care so in this video i'm going to show you guys what it looks like real quick and then i'm going to show you guys what the jump shot is and then the shooting badges i use to go along with it so let's get straight into that so right here i'm adding this little extra gameplay just so you guys can see what the jump shot looks like in game now the th main thing i like about this jump shot is because of the curry release that i put the player follows through so when you don't get a jump shot celebration and like your player will just flop his arms down he doesn't do that he'll always put his arms up arms up here and i love that now, I'm not gonna lie, like I said, this jump shot is incredibly ugly, okay? But this isn't real life, it doesn't matter. It's very easy to green for those of you who like to time your jump shots based on visual aid and seeing where your hands are. You see right there, shooting over him. It's very easy to time, too, on the left side if you're left-handed. So you don't have to be one-sided with your jump shots like when you use Rudy Gay. Alright guys, so as I said before, I'm not gonna lie, it is a little bit ugly, okay? I wasn't lying, but it is incredibly easy to time, as you can tell, it's very smooth. I showed you guys what a white looks like, even the long arms, like, they follow through, so it looks good even when you miss, which, honestly, I know how that sounds, but listen, I, I hate using Rudy Gay just for the fact that when you use Rudy Gay, like, your player's arms just flop to the ground. I hate that, okay? With this jump shot, it doesn't do that because of the Curry release. So, base is gonna be set shot 25. I actually didn't really like this base that much because I didn't find good releases for it. That's because the base like it takes too long to show what releases are used i don't know if that makes sense it'll it'll make sense well if, if you know you know if you don't know you don't know so i slapped curry on it and curry since curry already starts low with the upper releases the jump shot is very smooth so release one you're gonna want to go with lamarcus aldridge okay i haven't really used it that much but i really like it when it's mixed with curry and then obviously curry is going to be upper release too now the release speed you're gonna want to go max speed that's because i love shooting fast i guess you can use it on a slower speed i haven't tried it out that's because i wouldn't even like it because i don't like jump shots that are slow i'm worse with jump shots that are slow so i haven't tried it you can try it if you want but i would definitely recommend learning this jump shot fast animation blending you're gonna want to go with 45 55 now i it's kind of weird to see how it's like how it's like that 45 55 because usually it's like 70 30 i don't know i just slapped it on and i like it i don't know if you could switch the steph curry to the first one and put it 55 with lamarcus as the second one and put it 45 i don't know if you could do that just do it the way i did it just in case it's different and this is the beautiful jump shot. I lied. This jump shot is not beautiful at all. But this is the amazing green jump shot that I have been using. And I'm putting you guys onto sauce. Now, this is probably going to be the jump shot that I'm going to use for the rest of the year. Unless I find something better. And which I will tell you in the description of this video. So, if I ever change my jump shot permanently, I will put it in the description of this video. That way, I won't have to keep posting jump shot videos over and over again. And I can keep pushing out real content for you guys. Now, really quickly, let's get into the badges before we end this video. Now, I know I I said I was only going to show you guys the shooting badges, but I might as well show you guys all of my badges just because. So I get five finishing, and I actually put on gold limitless takeoff. That is the best badge in the game. Okay, I lied. It's the best finishing badge in the game. This badge is amazing. It allows me to get quick drops off one every time. And then slithery finisher second. That way, the quick drops off one, when people are to the side of you, it'll you'll get the animation more instead of like a contact layup. Because I don't get contact dunk, so I do need slithery. Now, for the shooting badges, what you see right now, this is what I use for the ones and the twos court, okay? But when I'm playing the threes court, usually you rim run a lot on the threes and it's a little bit harder to get up the court so you won't score in seven seconds under the shot clock so i put on gold blinders on threes when locks are guarding you they'll be to the side of you a lot so blinders will definitely help if you're not scared of shooting in somebody's face so these are what i use for threes and then of course for the ones and the twos court this right here is what i use lucky seven actually is pretty good i'm not gonna lie i don't i don't think it's good enough to put on gold but it's definitely good enough to slap it on right there now for the playmaking badges what you see right now is when i is what i use for the twos and the threes court that's because i'm passing okay so i put on ankle breaker just because i have play take if you don't have play take i would definitely put it on tight handles and then put the rest on like bailout or something but i have play take and i like to get clips so i put on ankle breaker bullet pass so that's self-explanatory floor general self-explanatory and then handles for days quick first step quick chain unpluckable those are all self-explanatory tight handles i know a lot of you might think it should be higher but as a i'm not really a play shot so tight handles isn't that effective for me now i know i get them but i can't really shoot the 15 percent that play shots shoot off a tight handles and like fade and all that i can't do that all right i have a 73 point i have to be smart with my shots anyway so i only have it on silver it definitely is still good though now for the ones court these are the six 
Hawks Hall of Fame badges that I smack on right away, okay? This is what you want on the ones court. Now, for the rest, I put on I put on Silver Hyperdrive, Silver Space Grader, and Silver Stop and Go. I don't really think any of these badges matter at all, if I'm being completely honest with you. It's just the fact that I have 30 playmaking badges. That's way more than I need, and I don't really, you know, what else am I going to put it on? I won't put it on Floor General. I'm not going to put it on Downhill, because on the ones court, you, there's no fast breaks. I'm not going to put on Special Deliveries, no pass faking, Triple Threat Juke. I don't really use Triple Threats. I like to dribble off, off of, like, the when I stand still and get the inbound. So this is what I use for that, okay? Now, for those who are wondering what my defensive badges are, here you go. If I am playing the ones court, though, I will put on Silver Intimidator and Bronze Post Lockdown just for the uh, the drop steps when I'm playing post scores. Uh, it helps a little bit. Obviously, post scores are still going to score, so it doesn't really help that much, but it definitely does help a little bit. The defensive badges don't really matter. As long as you have on, like, Rim Protector, Chase Down Artist, Clamps, Intimidator, you're fine. Pickpocket, I don't reach that much. I only reach when people go in the paint on me. Uh, it helps a lot for the tall builds, like post scores when I'm playing against them. It definitely does help. So I put that on, but these don't really matter that much. You are 68 with a max wingspan, so your player is going to have good defense anyways. Now that that's done, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video, and I hope it was very helpful, okay? For all my point forwards out there, all my isoers, send me clips of you using this jump shot, you shooting over people, all of that. I love when you guys mention me in clips. Now, if you did find this video helpful, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, all that. I would very much appreciate it. It helps out the channel a lot, and I hope you guys have a great day and peace out.